Here in the Austrian capital of Vienna, the number of young people under the age of 35 practicing their faith is only 1%. It seems as if the Catholic faith is on the verge of slipping away completely from the next generation. There's a bishop here that told me we're in free fall and we have no idea what to do. And we believe through our faith that Christ wants to reach people today just as well as he did you know, in any other time. So we, out of that faith, that's why we're, we're searching. Statistics published at the end of this year showed that the number of Catholics in the entire country of Austria fell in 2021 by around 1.6%, from 4.9 million in 2020 to 4.8 million in 2021. The sharpest drop-off has been among young people, which is starting to set off alarm bells across the Catholic Church in Austria. The answers that we get again and again is the Church is not providing answers. Um, and it's boring. Um, I don't understand the homilies. And I'm the only young person under 50 who's in the Church, so why should I go? It doesn't give me anything for my life. It's not that they're not asking questions, but they're, they're definitely not going to the Church looking for answers. Father George Elspeth is from Canada, but has been working in Vienna for 18 years. And seeing the sharp decline in young people practicing their faith, in 2015, he decided to start a new parish in the diocese, called the John Paul II Centre, which is exclusively aimed at bringing in young people. Because I'm a priest, I love people, and I, want, I think that God is, is the deepest answer to the deepest longings of, of the human person. Eva is a 28-year-old student and a member of this new parish. She plays music here at the church. It's for me like my personal spiritual living room. I would like to call it like this. This is your own personal <laughs> spiritual living room. No, our... I, I, no, 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 no. When you have a living room in a house, it's like the place where normally everything is coming together, right? It actually is wine and bread, right? But we can feel it because we know it. There are a few things that make this parish a little bit different. The homilies are shorter, limited to 18 minutes. An effort is made to explain the passages from the Bible more clearly and in a way that is understandable to a younger generation. The young people are challenged as well, and the music is different to what you'd find typically in a Catholic church. Like Eva, David and Valerie are members of the community, and they helped Father George build it. It really does feel like home for us. Uh, you know, we have our, our you know, literal home, and, but we also need our spirit, spiritual home. And that's really what we found here. And priests who really love God, you can, right. you can really feel that. Right. And it's just so important, and which really inspires us families too, to love God a lot more. In this home, they want to see more young people entering, which is why they are reaching out to more young people online and expanding in a new building. We've done uh, podcasts on the internet. I think uh, we have 22,000 uh, viewers or so, you know, with that podcast. You know, so really the vision is so much bigger. It's really to reach out there. God wants us to use us for something really big, you know. And that vision is really to help the church fulfill their, its potential, you know, to bring Jesus back at the center of everybody's life. Sarah is half Polish, half Austrian, and has been coming here to the community for four years now. I think that above all, I would say it's a community which is very open for everyone, which is very vivid and very present. The people here, I have the feeling, share this mentality that we try to build a place and um, space for, for God to do great things. It's creating a culture of welcome. One of our mantras is belonging before believing. When you have a relationship with God, it's really amazing to um, live this relationship in, with, in a community with other people. Because as human beings, we are made to be in, um, in community or we are made to live in community. And Father George is not the only one trying to revitalize the faith among young people in Austria. 
In another part of Vienna, a community of Catholics called Loreto has exploded in popularity, offering young Catholics a more modern way to worship. Patrick Knittelfelder is the founder. We as a movement, we are asking ourselves all the time, what is missing? What's wrong that we cannot bring this gospel to the people? Of course, we need all the traditional parts of a church, but we also need new parts and we need to transform uh, our message in this time. At just 1%, the Catholic Church in Vienna has its work cut out for it if it wants to grow back to healthy numbers. But with new parishes and communities like the two you've seen, there seems to be a glimmer of hope. They create a culture where people are really loved, um, they feel honoured, they feel um, they can just be who they are. Through us, hopefully, they experience something of the beauty of the love of God, which is inspiring and uplifting and challenging too. In Vienna, Austria, Colum Flynn, EWTN News In Depth.